I am Anil Kumar and here is a solution of a trigonometric equation which is not really factorable. So the question here is 2 cot x plus secant square x equals to 0 where x is between 0 and 360 degrees. So we can we'll just rewrite and try to solve this equation. It is 2 cot x plus secant square x equals to 0. We can write secant square x as 1 plus tan square x. So what we are trying to do is secant square x is 1 plus tan square x and cotangent x is 1 over tan x. So then we'll get one equation in tan. So we'll write 2 cot x as 2 over tan x and secant square x as 1 plus tan square x. So we now have one equation in just tan. So let's take uh, common denominator, let's multiply by tan x on both the sides. Then we get 2 plus tan x or we could rearrange it, right? Either way you can say uh, 2 plus tan x 1 plus tan square x equals to 0, right? So we can rearrange and we can write this as tan x times 1 plus tan square x equals to minus 2, right? Well, at this stage, you could have taken 2 over tan x on the right side and then multiplied by tan x, right? So you get the same thing as we have got here. Now, if you analyze this situation, then what do we figure out? 1 plus tan square x. You know, tan square x is always positive square right so it is positive so this value 1 plus tan square x is greater than 2 so it is greater than 2 right I, I mean greater than 1 since it is greater than 1 and we are trying to figure out that product of two numbers is minus 2 what we can take this as we can take 1 plus tan square x as equal to 2 and tan x equals to minus 1. So that could actually give us a solution, right? So minus 2 we are looking for. So if I assume that tan x can be minus 1 and 1 plus tan square x as 2, so when you multiply these two numbers you get minus 2, right? So that is the kind of solution uh, which we are bringing together to find all possible solutions in the given domain. So what we will now solve for is tan x equals to minus 1 and simultaneously we should have 1 plus tan square x equals to 2, right? It works. If tan x is minus 1, let us say tan x is minus 1, in that case 1 plus minus 1 whole square is going to be 2. So that is true, right? So now we have to figure out what value of x will give us tan x as minus 1, right? So that is how we are going to solve it. So minus 1 means for tan, it is negative in these two quadrants, correct? Because all are positive here and tan is positive in quadrant 3. So we are expecting two solutions, one in quadrant 3, the other one, sorry, one in quadrant 2 and the other one in quadrant 4, right? So tan x is minus 1 for acute angle of 45, correct? So, so we have tan x equals to minus 1, means acute angle is 45, so these angles are 45 degrees. So the principal angle for us is how much? For x is equals to, so we, we can do like this, we can do tan of alpha equals to 1. So alpha equals to tan inverse of 1 which is 45 degrees right so find first the acute angle that is our policy right now find out the answer so we get x as two values one is 180 degrees minus 45 and the other one is 360 degrees minus 45 degrees correct so these are the two solutions for the given equations we can write down our answer as x is equals to you can use calculator right so we have 180, okay, 180 minus 45 equals to 135 and 360 
minus 45 equals to 315 degree right so these are the two solutions for the given equation in the domain 0 to 360 degrees i hope that helps thank you